In this video I'm going to be showing you how to cut the teeth off a denture. This can be done for various reasons. Maybe you want to do a copy denture or you may want to change the teeth or the angles of the teeth or well, whatever you need to do with it. But I'm going to just demonstrate what to do. So here, first of all, we're going to go into the splint and layer module and I'm going to re-mesh this just to make sure that we've got a good mesh structure. Voxel remesh. This voxel remesh is set to 0 0.3, but I'm going to set this to 0 0.15 and we're going to apply that. Now that we've got a good mesh, we're going to draw the layer. Select it, shift or right click to place your cursor, click draw layer. This is going to give us two vertices, one of which is extended, and I'm, I'm going to click on extrude and then left click. Now I'm going to speed up the video just to make sure that I don't uh, keep you too long. Okay, when I get to the other side, I'm going to click on Fuse, click on Trim, then select the mesh that you want to keep and click on Clean. What this has done, it's going to, to duplicate the surface and create a copy surface on top of it. Okay, I'm sure you know where I'm heading with this. Make your layer and now you have to decide how deep you want to make this layer. Alt B to check and we can then estimate. Okay, so this mesh structure is not very good, but we don't want it to penetrate this deep, no need. The default is four millimeter. Let's put this at three, which is 1.5 millimeter penetration into your denture. And then here in the you can put wireframe to understand and see how this works. And then we're going to accept this layer. Now this layer is going to fix itself after you click on voxel remesh. Like that. So here we've got a nice clean cut where the periphery of the gum and teeth are. Okay, this voxel we we're going to voxel remesh this, say at 0 0.15, and we're going to apply that. I'm going to select my denture and give it a little bit of a color so that we can understand what's actually going on. Great, now this is going to become our cutting tool. Alt B to get out of it. And now we're going to duplicate this denture. So this is very important. So this is my lower and I'll just call this, I'm going to go Shift D to duplicate, enter on the keyboard and we're going to just call this um, copy. Great, and this copy we can hide if we want. I'm just going to use H key to hide for now. Okay, now what we're going to do is go into the splint module go to the finishing and we're going to, with it being selected, click on select object for boolean and then we're going to create an intersect, intersection, take the dropper and select your, this layer and this is what I want to see. Okay, and we're going to, to then apply that and then take your cutting tool X and delete it. We don't need it anymore. So these are your teeth. Just going to delete the color. Okay, now we see that we've got a few undercuts and I'm not 100% happy with this because this becomes our cutting tool. So now what we're going to do is we're going to select our smoothing tool. Right click to set the radius auto smoothing and we're just going to smooth this a little bit and try and eliminate some of these undercuts by smoothing. 
So I've got it set quite aggressively. So you can set it a bit less aggressively by changing the auto smooth. Okay, now just remember that this is going to be printed. These are your going to be your teeth. Now, hold H to unhide. This is going to become our cutting tool, and this is our our tissue. Go to the model designer. At the bottom, there's a menu called the insert cutting tool. Now, this is becoming our object being cut and this is going to be our insert. Now this menu is quite important because it creates an offset, a just offset, depending on how much space you want to be in between these two parts. Now this could be your glue or your acrylic or whatever. So let's put this to 0 0.15 or 0 0.2, depending how much space you want to have between these objects. So then we're going to apply, it's going to remesh it at 0 0.1, leave that and then remesh and then cut and that's going to then create our cut and delete the cutting tool at the same time. Here we go. Okay, quite easy to do. Let's just hide this to demonstrate. This is what it then looks like. And we've got our teeth, which then looks like that. Very, very easy to do. Of course, we could have maybe smoothed it a little bit more inside to avoid any undercuts. But um, this is the workflow. Okay, hope you enjoyed this video. And have a good day. Bye.